Sabaha everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today I have for you my review of the OnePlus Bullet wireless headphones. These headphones are promising us long battery life, great audio playback, but not only that, quick recharge to be able to get up to 5 hours from just 10 minutes of charging and is actually supporting USB-C. This is TK and this is my review of the OnePlus Bullet wireless. Now OnePlus has been making headphones for a while and this is the version 2 of the Bullet Wireless. Uh, they are great sounding headphones, they, they have a flat cable, they use the 3.5mm headphone jack and they're still sold. You can still pick these up directly off their website and they really produce very good audio. But what they want to do now is they want to be able to give us the same quality of audio, maybe even better, but using Bluetooth and of course APTX on our OnePlus 6. These headphones are going to be selling directly off of OnePlus's website. Uh, they're selling for about $69. Availability is scarce so keep an eye on the site if you'd like to pick them up. Uh, they do provide you with a few ear tips. There's two additional uh, two additional pairs and two additional small. So there's small, large, and I think the mediums are the ones that are installed. Uh, they also include a case here, a nice little silicon case, magnetic closing, as well as a short USB-C to USB type A as these are USB-C headphones. Uh, the is a small magnet here, so that's going to be to keep these things all secure together. Um, although I'm not so sure how much I'm going to be using this, but again, it's nice that we have it included. Uh, all of this is on the right side. On the left side, you just have to remove the actual casing, which includes the headphones. And of course, it says free your music. Focusing a little bit more on the headphones, uh, we'll notice that the casing here is, uh, are sitting outside. So these are the actual headphones, but you can't pop them out this way. Opening the case on the inside, we'll see that there's some instruction manual paperwork, some stuff, just letting us know what they are. Uh, these are Bluetooth 4.1, rated to last about eight hours with, basically you can charge from zero to 50% for about, about 10 minutes. So charge time is supposed to be pretty quick. They are water or splash resistant. I would not say they're water resistant, meaning I wouldn't recommend you swimming with these, but if you are working out or doing some kind of exercise that will put some you know moisture around them, these ear bits will be, will be good. And here they are. Uh, we have two ear tips. As I mentioned, the medium size are already installed on here. We have a volume rocker, plus and bottom and of course there's the initiation key here you can initiate the Google Assistant on any Android device or Siri on any iOS device as these will work with both uh, we have two battery packs here on the right and left side although the left or the left one on the side here with the right one depending on how your preferences um, it does have the OnePlus logo with the initiation button to turn it on and turn it off as well as USB-C charging port uh, now they do recommend you using this with the uh, basically the dash charger that comes directly with your OnePlus although this will work with anything as the charging capability Capabilities are not unique, but they're faster since they're using USB-C. After trying this for a couple of times, I was able to get it to give me that message. Uh, with a flashing light and the pair of headphones separated, you can go ahead and hit tap to pair, and they will pair each with each other automatically. This is kind of like, and this is right there, pair and connect. We'll go ahead and say pair, and it's pretty simple. It's pretty much done. Wireless, tap here to set more, audio setup, and it does say aptX support showing. Um, overall, it's pretty simple. You'll notice right there, it's OnePlus wireless bullets pair, tap here to set more. You can go in there and do additional ones. So the autoplay, uh, answer, uh, answer, sorry, smart answer for Bluetooth, call information broadcast, all of those things are specific to the bullets. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn them on uh, and then we'll get, of course, TTS, this is for the service itself. Uh, and of course, Bluetooth, uh, absolute volume, we'll get that in there as well. Uh, the main benefit, of course, now that they're connected, we do get a little bit of a blinking light here. I'm gonna go ahead and start playing some music just to see what we can get. Uh, again, we're supposed to be able to pause and replay the music just by doing it using the headphones. So, music is playing. Go ahead and pause, separate, APTX. Now you notice the music starts playing again. Uh, this is supposed to be only compatible with the OnePlus 5, OnePlus 5T, as well as the OnePlus 6 running the latest software. So that the sound's playing over there, and then once I put them together, it pauses, and if I separate them, unfortunately now this functionality doesn't work here, as this is not supported here. But we're still gonna be able to enjoy the music on this, as this, uh, we're supporting uh, Bluetooth 4.1 and aptX, even on the Galaxy S9, we should be able to enjoy this. Last but not least, I wanna share with you guys real quick the initiation of the Assistant. And you're able to basically specify it here. Of course, I'm going to set it up to be the assistant. Um, and you can also set it up to be Bixby or, and we'll cancel here, or set it up to be Siri, of course, if you're running an, an iOS device. So that was the pairing process. Now, as far as putting them on, keep in mind that, that the actual earpiece or the controller is on the left side. It's not on the right side. So when you're putting them on, make sure that this controller is sitting on the left and you're pretty much set. 
One of the really cool features about this headset is that when the earpieces are connected to each other magnetically, the headset itself is off. So to actually turn it on and reconnect to the last device that you paired it with, just separate them and put them directly in your ear. And when you put it directly in your ear, you'll hear that little nice chirp, and that chirp indicates that it paired back or reconnected directly to my S9 Plus. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and play some songs, just different tracks. And keep in mind, again, uh, that you do wanna basically set the level correctly on your device. There is a volume control on the actual controller in here, as well as the volume control that's built into your device. And these are two independent ones. Now, as far as music playback, as usual, I use NCS for no copyright songs. So I'll be able to share some of that audio with you guys on the mic. Uh, the other thing I wanna make sure you guys are aware of, because we have the assistant built in or the functionality to be able to trigger our assistant on our phone, uh, we have the ability of not only skipping tracks forward and back using our voice, but not only that, skipping tracks either 30 seconds in, uh, forward, 30 seconds back, uh, doing different controls on our device without having to unlock the device. So that's really functional. Uh, of course, if you just double press the actual button on it, the actual uh, assistant button, it skips tracks forward. You have volume up, volume down. So I'm gonna go ahead and start the music and I'll share with you guys my experience of how the audio plays back. And again, using the controls, just double pressing. Skips to the next track. Volume up. You guys are listening to it there at the same time as I am. I just put the microphone to one of the earpieces. Definitely sounds pretty good. The vocals are very clear. Not too bassy though. Last track. And then pressing it once turns off the music. So here's my conclusion as far as the things that I like and I didn't like. Um, I like the audio quality, it's pretty decent. It's not gonna be the best, but I like it. Uh, not too bassy, mids and lows are pretty good. The audio and the actual sound of people singing, it's very clear, it's very nice and crisp. And if you have an EQ built into your device, make sure you tune it correctly as I had the wrong setting set up on my S9 when I initially paired these headphones and they sounded really bad. And I was able to fix that by configuring my EQ. Um, overall battery life is pretty good. Recharging is really nice with the ability to go up to five hours with 10 minutes. And of course, the ability to basically just using that class mechanism, be able to stop, turn off the headset and turn it back on. And the reconnection time is super fast. As soon as I take them out, put them in my ear, I'm getting that chirp and I'm able to replay my music. And the distance is pretty good. I was able to get about 20 feet away. Um, overall, as far as the actual things that I'm not exactly too fond of, it's the design. I think it just looks a little bit odd. It is an on neck kind of a, basically an implementation, which means the antenna will have better reception. But uh, with the fact that the wires are dangling down to almost like a tie kind of a situation, it almost looks weird. I wish there was a way to put them away, either like a retractable option or something like the way LG does it with their options. Uh, but I think for 70 bucks, we really can't mess with it. I think it's a great solution for OnePlus for their first wireless uh, bullet buds. And of course, if you pick them up with the OnePlus, as well as the fact that you can use the coupon in the description, you'll be able to get an extra $20 off of those things. So for 50 bucks, I think they're really nice. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you're thinking of picking up the wireless buds or if you're just happy with the version two, just regular bullet headphones that they actually still sell in the store. And I think they perform really, really well. Um, but again, thank you for the support. Like and subscribe as usual. And I'll see you guys in the next video.